right, guys. So the first thing that we're going to want to go ahead and do is go to the mash shop and get a ramp buggy. It could be one of our friend's ramp buggies or your ramp buggy. This is going to help us push the ballistic equipment, okay? So located in your inventory, you guys should already have bought in the ballistic equipment. Now, there's a lot of steps to this, and we will need a friend for the merge part over at the Eclipse Tower. But anyways, from there, you guys, here we go. So let's just go ahead and call in our ballistic equipment right here by the mash shop. And as soon as I order this, I'm going to back up just a little bit, okay? So as soon as you see that money went away from you, just back up a little bit. And hopefully, it'll land right in front of the mash shop. Now, the reason that I have the ramp buggy, because this is by far probably the best vehicle to push the ballistic equipment armor. Bam, there it is. All right. Now, this time, what we're going to need to do is we're going to take this ramp buggy and we're going to push the ballistic equipment into the little corner there, okay? So, my friend will show you exactly where here. I'm going to just take this, push it all the way into that corner right there. That's where it's going to have to go, okay? All right, so let's push it. Push it real good. Right there. That's like perfect, okay? So from here, we're just going to go ahead and back up the ramp buggy just to, just a little bit. Doesn't have to be too far. We're going to exit the vehicle. Now, this part can be a little bit tricky. So you guys are going to have to go to the shirt part right here, okay? To get the a little alert in the upper left-hand corner. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run towards the ballistic equipment and we're going to start spamming right on the D-pad right now, okay? Just like this. So if you guys got to this part, just leave everything alone. So just watch this, okay? So here's the ballistic equipment. All right, so we're going to pop open our interaction menu. Once again, we're going to go down to inventory, okay? And then we're going to go into the ballistic equipment, and then we're going to get rid of that, all right? So we just have to do this real quick. So remove it and then there we go you guys can see that i have the outfit it will disappear but don't worry by the end of this video we're gonna have a fully saved juggernaut outfit just like you guys see my friend has all right so from here you guys what we're gonna do is we are going to pop open well we're gonna have to probably deregister as a ceo but we need to change appearance at this time okay so we're going to go in, we're going to go to change appearance. That will cost $100,000. So hopefully you guys do have some extra money to spend here. Okay, so it's going to load us into this room right here. And then what we're going to do at this time is we're going to go down to crew t-shirts. Okay, so it'd be apparel. And then we're going to go to crew t-shirts. And then we're going to change it to a crew t-shirt. All right. So basically what it's going to do is going to take off the armor, the upper half, but it's going to leave the leggings. But don't worry. But like what I said, by the end of the video, we will have a full armored ballistic outfit that we can actually save and have in our inventory. Their styles, pretty awesome. All right, guys. So once we got our crew shirt on, just go ahead and confirm everything. And we're just going to load back into a session. And when we do load into a session, what we're going to do is we need to head towards a clothing store. So like a Binko is one of my favorite stores to go to. There's one like located right here. They're all over the place. Hello? All right. So we're going to get some clothing items now. Oh. We're going to do some more glitching. Hi. So let's go to the top section real quick and let's find sweaters. So we're going to find sweaters and we are going to purchase the very last sweater, which should be the black, th this one right here. That's the one you want. So if you guys don't already own it, you're going to have to purchase that. We're going to get that. And then after this, we're going to back out and we're going to go down to utility vests, I believe. And we're going to be looking for that peach plate camo carrier. So I'll find it here in just a second. Just keep going down. Down, down, down. Oh, hold on. Wait. There it is right here. Number 40. So you guys just remember, for utility vests, number 40. Oh. That's going to be the Peach Plate Camo Carrier. I, I, All right, guys. So let's save this outfit to slot one. If you guys have a slot there, or I would say you know, an outfit that you don't want to lose. Maybe you want to move that around, but we need to save this outfit to slot one. Now, also, what we're going to do before we leave the store is we need to get some coveralls, okay? So it's like the Breaking Bad coveralls, you know, like the mess suit or something like that. can be any color. It doesn't matter what color. 
Let's go down to the bottom here. We've got a couple different colors. I'm just going to choose this one right here. All right, perfect. So we've saved that outfit with the stuff that we need to save it to. And then also we had it in slot one. So this time we need to go hit up the telescope because we're going to be doing the telescope glitch real quick. So let's head on over towards a telescope, wherever the closest one may be. Run past the telescope, press right on the D-pad. Pop open our interaction menu, go to style. And let's go ahead and change into that outfit that we just saved at the store. Let's walk away. Let's check this out. All right. So the mask is going to appear. Now, the closest way, if you guys did it over at the beach, is just take this outfit over to the mask shop and just save it in slot one again. Okay. So we're just overriding the slot one save with this one. And then right at this time, what we're going to need to do is go into a titan of a job. So if you are like have a friend that wants to start one up, or you can just start one up real quick. But in a moment's time, we will need a friend's help because we will be doing a merge glitch with this outfit to go ahead and get the rest of it to go ahead and stick and stuff like that. So, All right, guys. So here we go. Titan of a job. We're just going to load right into Titan of a job. And when you guys load it in Titan of a job, you're going to notice that your peach plate carrier camo... Uh, armor. No, it's going to be gone. So at this time, what we're going to do is head on over to an ammunition. The closest one to the mash shop is this one right here. And then all we're going to do is just we need to go in and overwrite the save one more time. So we're going to overwrite save one. And then from here, all you guys have to do is just pop open your phone and simply exit the Titan of a job. All right, you guys, so we're going to have to do step one again, okay? So I got my ramp buggy, and if you guys can't call your ballistic equipment, you may you like think about restarting the application and come just coming on back because that'll fix it. So step one again, get into the ramp buggy, call the ballistic equipment, have it land in front of the mashup just like we did before in the very beginning of the video. We're just waiting for it. We want that thing to land right in front of the mashup here, which is why we're going to be right here. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Almost hit that guy. That would have been funny if they hit that guy, right? All right. So once again, we are going to be pushing the ballistic armor to that little corner over there like we did before. Let's go ahead and push it, push it on in as far as it'll go. Just like that. That should be that should be fine. Maybe push it a little bit more. Here, watch out. I'll push it just a little bit more and see if I can get it. There you go. It's, it's fine. As long as it's in that corner right there, that's where I like to push it. And I push it real good. <laughs> All right, you guys. So same thing. We're going to go up to the t-shirts. So we get the menu in the upper left-hand corner. And then we're going to walk up to the ballistic equipment and start spamming right on the D-pad. Bam, just like that. Now, what's going to happen here is it's going to kick us out of this menu in just a second. There's our ballistic armor. Okay. So what we're going to do at this point is once again go into inventory. Go down to ballistic armor and take the ballistic armor off you guys will stop the suit for just a second it will disappear don't worry about that okay so this is going to be the time where we're going to be merging okay so if you guys don't know the merge glitch there used to be one with uh like truck off or crooked cop but right now what we're going to be using is the felica job over there at the eclipse tower or wherever you guys' apartment is for the you know the very very beginning first heist that you're going to be doing over there at your apartment okay with the armored karuma so my friend is starting up the job right now when you guys do start that job up over there you need to make sure that it's set on player owned clothing okay that's going to be very important that your friend or you set it on player owned clothing okay All right, so here we go. We're just loading into my friend's uh, heist setup right here, which is the Felica heist setup. Once again, he put it on player-owned clothing. And we're just going to go ahead and start this up real quick. All right, guys, once we load in, all we have to do is go off to the right, I believe, one time. Just like that, okay? Perfect. So what we're gonna do at this time is we're just gonna go ahead and start up the job. Now, at this time, all we have to do is wait for Lester to start talking, and he'll start talking here in just a minute. 
and then after he stops talking i'll show you guys the next step real quick so we'll just get him out of the way all right so after he stops talking just simply pop open your phone and leave the job at this time okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and pop down now for this next part what's gonna happen is here's the outfit right here but once again what we need to do is we need to call up a car all right so we need a vehicle and it has to be a car i think for this part so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick you guys also you need to register as a ceo all right all right guys so what we're gonna do once we got our vehicle is just get into the vehicle after we've registered as a ceo pop open our interaction menu go to ceo go to management go to style go back and then go forth okay check that out there's my outfit right there there's my juggernaut outfit right there all we have to do is back out and then there it is you guys so all we have to do at this time is take this outfit somewhere to like the mash shop or anywhere that we can save the outfit okay so that's all we have to do at this time is we're just going to go ahead and save the outfit and then i'll show you guys uh how to get the rest of the i would say juggernaut armor or ballistic equipment armor on there real quick all right so now that we're at the mash shop all you guys have to do is just save this and at this point you can save it to any slot that you want to okay and then to go ahead and get the rest of the equipment it's going to be in ski masks number 55 that's going to be the mask that goes with the outfit and then also you guys will need a black bulletproof helmet which you can put both of those on at the same time without having to do the telescope glitch so anyways there guys this is how we are going to be getting our full juggernaut outfit in the game and there's a lot of other glitches that we can be doing with this so if you guys ended up enjoying this video i'll show you some more awesome outfit glitches we can be doing in the game so anyways from there once again if you guys like this video hit that like button on the way out subscribe for more content leave a comment down below and thank you guys for watching my name is gravesite and i'll see you in the next one so peace